Ever thought of yourself as the moon, attracting people with a soft, enticing pull? Draws people to you today. We're going to flip the script and show you the In the Dance of Desire. It's easy to find the keys that will bring them to you. You on the back foot, chasing and wanting a lot, and often disappearing into the background of someone else's story. But what if there's a small change in power that can be made? To you, picture taking a step back and changing from the pursuer to the pursued. This trip isn't about giving up, it's about taking back your. This movie is about strength. It's about the stoic art of detachment. How can stepping call them back and ask them to move forward? How can you get them to want more by giving them less? We're going to solve these mysteries and give you tips on how to change from the fact that your attention is limited gives you a lesson in value. That's hard to ignore. As we lay out these calm plans, if you find, if you agree with the idea of letting go of control, hit that like button. Click the button and don't forget to subscribe to get regular updates. Ready to learn how absence can leave and silence can do more than words. Let's dive into number one. She sees the change. Have you ever thought about what happens when you stop being the one who always, for newcomers who always reach out to see who's there, think about a time when you were that person, person who plans everything and keeps it all together, but what if you, you could just take a step back and let your silence speak for itself? Now, here's the interesting part. When you step back, you're not going away. By changing the balance, you show her that you're not stuck in the relationship that you're in. It's not her every move that makes her happy. This small change starts to change the dynamic. And here's the important part. It puts you back in charge. Think about those quiet times. When the music stops in a movie, everyone knows that something big is about to happen. That's what happens when you take a step back. She starts to hear the quiet. The spot where you used to pay attention, and it makes her wonder, why did things are different now? It's not about games or controlling feelings. It's about seeing your own worth if no one has noticed your hard work. Take a step back to show respect for yourself and the work you've put into it. Distance makes the heart grow fonder is an old proverb that means when you step back, you're, you're letting her feel the absence by not putting space between you and her to push her away. Taking a step back doesn't mean getting rid of what she might have thought was normal. Being less approachable, not responding right away, and dropping for her, it's all about putting more attention on yourself and your hobbies. It's beautiful because once you stop following her, she starts to understand what she's been through. Missing. Being the one who is always being the bad guy can get old. More when you take a step back. You're not just giving her room, you're giving her time. Give yourself time to relax and focus on your goals to get back in touch with what makes you unique. You're happy. And when you do that, you not only take back your power, but you also become more interesting and appealing. Think about it when we chase. It often runs away, but when we stop, it often comes back to us the same. In relationships, if you step back, she'll notice and wonder what's going on, start to see you in a new way and feel different. This is where the dynamic shifts. The Stoics showed us how important it is to be in charge of what we can, our own feelings and deeds. Instead of trying to control other people by taking a step back, you're adopting this idea. You're in charge of your own story about how you feel and letting go of the need to control what happens, that if you're ready to stop chasing and start focused, that shows strength and poise. Take a moment to say, I respect below for your own peace of mind. Took a step back and told myself, this is more than just a statement. It's a promise. Remember the wise words when you think about your worth, your freedom, and the exciting journey ahead. It doesn't matter what happens to you as long as you deal with it well, as Epictetus said. 
By taking a step back, you can choose how to react while putting your own health first. And that, my friends, is where real power lies. Number two, she wants to feel safe. At this point, though, you don't give in. She can feel the change in the warmth of your, the constant presence has gone away, and a rising sense of unease has taken its place. She really feels it. The lack of your care, which she used to take for granted, is now, and it hurts her. It's not just a hole where you used to be. It's an empty space that begs for attention. She might send you a message that seems harmless, or drop hints on social media, in the hopes that you'll react. But don't get it wrong. It's not... It's not about rekindling a relationship. It's about one thing. Validation. She's trying the seas, trying to find out if she still has your attention, and making sure if she's still important to you. This is where things get interesting. Even though you've changed gears, you stand firm, unmoved by her. Try. You don't have to answer every text message or keep yourself busy all the time anymore. Now that the chapter is over, you've chosen to put yourself in the middle of your universe to work on your own growth and happiness, and now is the time you do answer, but not as quickly or eagerly as before. It's calm and cool, and the way you talk to her doesn't give her the easy comfort she wants. This is what makes your new stance so strong. It's clear what no longer does your happiness depend on her approval that you're not playing games or being distant just for the sake of it. You're really changing and shifting your life on what's important to you and having that quiet security that being sure of yourself without saying it is very attractive sends a clear message. It's clear that you know what you're worth and won't try to show it to other people. Shift fits nicely with stoic ideas like self-control, resilience and strengths inside you. Epictetus said that no one is free who is not in charge of himself. By keeping your cool and sticking to your new path, you're controlling yourself and showing others what you can do. I told her that no matter how hard she tries, you won't give up and fall back into old habits. You're grounded. She thinks of something important as she watches you stay steady and focused. You'll see that she can't just walk back into your life without any work the more you stay grounded. If she really wants to be a part of your life again, she'll have to be able to handle your new rules and admiration for the man you've turned into, and that makes you more, more appealing than ever because you're no longer a choice. You're the standard. If you're ready to fully adopt this way of thinking, I want you to say it out loud right now in the comments. I stand firm isn't just a phrase, it's a promise to stick to your guns. You aren't idly waiting for your inner strength to grow to the level that defines you. To get her attention, you're going forward, sure of your worth and your path. To stay grounded, know that it's not about pushing people away. It's about taking care of your own respect, and security means knowing what value and won't settle for less than what you deserve, and that friends, this is how you stay in charge, change the situation, and make sure that you choose how your life goes from here on out, and that makes it your own. Third, you're unstoppable, she can feel the emptiness, and you focus on, you tell yourself this, and you decide to take a step back. Suddenly, things start to change for her in ways she never expected. The problem is that when you're not around, her daily pattern changes. Hits her hard, and she feels like an important part of her life is suddenly, she may not have fully understood what you were missing while you were always there and present, realized how much life, energy, and joy you brought into her world. You don't notice the background music until the rhythm stops, and all of a sudden L. It gets so quiet that it's hard to hear. Imagine that you decide to... When you take a step back, her life starts to change in ways she never saw coming. Coming here is the thing when you stop being easy for her to reach every day. Her schedule is thrown off, and she feels like an important part of her life is... 
she may not have been missing all of a sudden while you were always there. Fully understood how much life, energy and excitement you brought into her world. It's like background music. You don't hear it until the tune stops. As you move away, the quiet gets unbearable. This absence is more than just about calling or texting her, is the comfort and safety of knowing. Now that you're there, that place seems big and empty to her. At first, she might, don't give it much thought, act like nothing has changed, but over time it gets harder for her to ignore your absence and she starts to wonder where he is and why. Isn't he trying to reach out? Soon she hears something important. I miss you. This is where the shift takes place while she's away. You're not just sitting there feeling empty. You're using your energy to do something. That's where your growth, interests and happiness may be coming from. If you're taking more time to do things that make you happy, like a sport you've always wanted to try, you're not just taking a step back. You're stepping up, and every moment you spend focused on yourself, you're becoming more attractive, sure of yourself, and most, the most important thing, is that you're investing in something that will really help your health. Now think about this. What if she doesn't even notice that you've pulled away? If that's true, you've been given something special, sting, but you now know that she wasn't as invested as you thought. You won't be fooled by it, but if she does feel your pain, and trust me, she'll know that she'll be absent. What you added to her life wasn't just noise, it was important, and it can't be replaced. Here's a sober truth to remember as you focus on what's inside your take charge of your actions and your thoughts and let go of what you don't like about her answer. Marcus Aurelius once said that how happy you are in life rests on how, if you focus on your growth, your confidence, and your inner peace, you can make your life better no matter what. No matter what other people say, if you're ready to put yourself first, let her sit in silence. Leave a comment below that says, I make myself a putting this first isn't just a comment. It's a statement that you're stepping into your power to choose to be your best self, and no one can take that away from you. That from you, remember that this isn't about what she's losing, it's about what you're getting, is about how you choose to spend your time, and how you take back control of your life, your space, and how you're changing your life by putting your attention on yourself. You change the situation so that it works in your favor, you create your own happiness, and that's where the real power lie. Number four, she makes comparisons while you growth. Let me start with a strong picture. Picture yourself taking a step back, making a void so gracefully that she can't ignore it. It's like when a favorite song skips a beat and throws off the whole rhythm. That's the hole you've made in her life, which she tries to fill with new people, once you have new people or situations, you may feel like something is missing. Why? Because no one else has the depth, energy and uniqueness that you did. There was something about you that made her world a little brighter. You made her day better, so picture this as she tries to move. She wants to move forward but can't help but look back. It's like trying to replace a gourmet chef. When you eat fast food, it may fill you up for a while, but it doesn't have the, the same level of richness or satisfaction that made your gourmet experience unique and powerful. It's hard to forget now, and everything else seems like a quick fix after she leaves. She was stuck in this loop of comparison and longed for what she used to have. You have already changed gears and are not looking back. Instead, you are putting in, as you grow and get better every day, you change into a version of, you are smarter, more resilient, and more sure of yourself. And here's why. The real twist comes when she thinks about how her current situation is like what she had with, she learns more about how irreplaceable you are. It's not. It's not just the lack of calls or texts that bothers her. It's the mental gap. 
lack of support and motivation that you alone could give every little. The comparisons she makes show what she's lost, which makes your value sink in. She remembers those times when you were there and always understood, and her mind goes through the roof, always bringing that kind of light into her life, which doesn't come along very often. Seneca once said that we suffer more in our minds than in real life. She can't stop thinking about what might have been, but you're living your life as it really is. Wondering if she misses you or what she's thinking about you're wasting your time. Busy making your own happy, successful life with no one else around. In terms, you've turned your attention inward, not because you're angry, but because you're living in the present, growing and taking one step forward every day, while she's stuck in her what-ifs, and if you're rising above all that, you're picking things that put your... You're not waiting for her to see how valuable you are anymore. You already do. Took back your time and energy and are now putting it toward the things that really matter. Your goals, your interests, and your getting better at yourself. So let me ask you this. Who's really winning here? Her mind is stuck on similarities and doubts while you're living your best life. You're getting stronger, more sure of yourself, and more confident every day. You're defining your own worth every day now that it's not tied to her. That you set for yourself, and no one can take that away from you if you're ready to rise above the make some noise and step into your power. Leave a comment below that says, I'm flourishing. Now is the time to make a promise to yourself. No matter who's there, we'll focus on your growth, happiness and health. Seeing this means you're becoming your strongest self, and that's something no one can miss. Keep this in mind while she's caught up in people are missing the light you use to bring into her life. More fulfilling future. Your actions show everyone and yourself that you can't be stopped. When you focus on your own growth and happiness, that's the best thing that can happen. Win, because it's not about making her feel bad about what she did. It's about claiming, making your own story, and taking charge of your life that's real power, and it's all yours. Number five, she finds the truth while you stay. Steady. Let's start with a scene we all know all too well, she thought. Though she was sure she was making the right choice, life doesn't always work out that way. As planned, picture her leaving, thinking she's going on to something else. It's better to have a big realization that changes everything. Shocking to learn that what she had with you wasn't just good. That bright new path she was after is now beginning to lose its shine. Its shine she might have pulled away, flirted with someone new, or let things go because she thought she was getting better. At first it seemed like thrilling a sense of freedom and the promise of new opportunities, but as the fades away and she starts to feel the cracks in the talks that used to be natural now sound forced, the link is hollow, and the she found comfort in you that she couldn't find anywhere else. She slowly comes to terms with the fact that she lost something important, real, and this is where things get interesting. She's about to accept this fact. You've been strong. You didn't wait around hoping she'd change. Welcome back. You've been working on becoming the best version of yourself on your own journey. You've been grounded in self-worth and growth, not her. This isn't about rubbing it in or rubbing it in. In her eyes, it's about being proud of what you bring to the table and not settling for less. Because someone else went off the path that the Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, taught. True strength doesn't come from what other people say or do. It comes from within. He said that its thoughts gave it color and that you could learn to follow your own way. You've been building up your strength confidence and sense of self in ways that no external approval can shake her up. So what happens when she realizes what she did wrong, that the grass wasn't really greener after all? You don't run into her arms. Instead, you stand there, 
Firm, you let her show what she knows not only with words, but also with actions, that she now knows how valuable you are and is ready to work hard to get back into your life. Now is your chance to shine, not because you were waiting for her, but because you've been getting better the whole time. If, when the scales tip and you're in charge, if you're not ready for her to meet you where you are, you're more than welcome to. If you want to keep moving forward on your own, know that the grass isn't greener on the other side. On the other hand, it's greener where you water it and concentrate on yourself, and taking care of your own growth have been watering your own plant the whole time. When the balance is right, she'll be able to see how healthy and strong you've become. Shifts, and you have to hold on to the wheels. Have you ever been through that? Deep change, that thrilling moment when you know the chase is over and all of a sudden everything starts to go your way. You're no longer the one trying to get someone else's attention, recognition or approval. Everything starts to pull toward you. It's a strong change, a moment when you go from being a victim to being in charge of your whole life. Think about this. She's always known you as the person who was always there for her, always waiting, but now she can feel something different. It's like the... The air is different now that you're not going out of your way to meet her needs. You're not putting her on a tower anymore. Instead, you've changed how you feel about her. You've turned your attention inward to your own growth, your goals, and yourself. Passions, and as soon as she feels this shift, everything changes. Important moment when she starts to feel uncomfortable about the attention she used to get for granted isn't there anymore, and she can tell because of the empty spot. You made, and all of a sudden she starts to wonder if it's not you who's trying to hold on to her, because she's wondering if she's lost you. This isn't a game. Games are about taking charge of your life, not because you want to be mean, but because now that you've decided to live your own life share, here's the real game. As you rise standing strong in your own worth, she's left to figure out her mess. The dynamics change. You're calm and grounded, and you're no longer looking for her approval. She's the one who is chasing you, trying to get your attention and figure out where she is stands, that the roles have been reversed and that you are now in charge because you chose to take back control of your story. Are you ready to step into your power and get back in charge of your life? If you are, leave a comment below now. I, it's more than just a comment to say, hold the reins. It's a statement that you're now in. Remember that real power isn't about taking charge of your story, turning the page and going forward with purpose. Dominating other people isn't about mastering them. Right now you're mastering yourself, your own way and keep going. You're not just steering the ship you've turned into. She's scared of the captain of your own life, number seven. If I'm losing you but you don't give up, here's a situation for you to think about. You've changed into someone she never thought she'd lose. But now the, the thought of losing you shakes her to her core. She used to feel safe and secure. Since the balance has changed, the relationship dynamic is now something completely different. Shifted. She may have had the reins before, but now she sees that you're not. You're no longer a choice she can take for granted. You've become important to her. Fears are going away, and the thought of someone loving you makes them feel even worse. Or, what's scarier for her, the fact that you've already moved on. Away from her, she sees you doing well from afar, living with drive and desire. Clarity was hit with the hard truth that you're no longer in her reach. And what's worse, you're... She feels a mix of regret and joy when she sees you succeeding without her looking and seems unaffected by her absence. And worry. All of a sudden she realizes how rare someone like you is and starts to fear. She's desperate because she doesn't want to lose someone so important to her. In an effort to get back on track, motions get bigger and words get more sincere. Her ground in your life. But here's the shift that makes her stronger. 
urgency. You stay grounded. Her feelings or the frantic don't move you. You've reached a place of calm and self-confidence where no one can pull you back. Now that you know what she knows, her fear and words can't take you down. You stand tall. If she wants to be in your life, it's not her business. You decide what's right and wrong. No longer on her terms, but on yours. This time, words alone won't do. Only real ones will do. Now it's up to you to decide if you're ready to accept what you've been doing. You have this strength if you're ready to stand firm when she's not sure and make sure she faces. She's afraid of her own fears. Say, I remain steadfast in the comments and let the world know. If you know how much you're worth, pity or panic won't be able to change your mind. You're steady, sure of yourself and in charge of your trip. Eighth, she starts the process of after the intense whirlwind has passed, while you take charge of the rhythm. She's come forward with a new resolve, ready to go after you. Now that she's in charge, things have changed, but here's where the you're setting the pace, not her. Imagine this is what she's sending you. She got caring messages, made plans that mattered, and showed up in ways she hadn't before. Before it's clear what she wants, she's trying to win your love back, but it's not important for you to hurry to answer or change your plans for her. You're deliberately giving her room to let what she does fit what she says. Don't get the wrong idea. This isn't about being difficult to get or messing with. Moods. This is about realizing how valuable you are and keeping peace. You've put in a lot of effort to build, and you've spent time getting better, you into a better, more stable person, and now anyone who wants to the Stoics teach us that if you want to get something in life, you have to work for it. To handle life, you need to be self-disciplined. Epictetus said, No man is free who is not humble. Master of himself, by setting the pace, you're not only in charge of the you're showing that you have control over your feelings and the you're the one shaping this story and writing the next lines of the story. Now for the real question. Are you ready to lead this dance? Right below, I set the pace. This isn't just a statement, it's a A statement of your power that reminds you that you won't settle for less than what you earn. This isn't just about who's chasing who, it's about about being strong in your beliefs and making sure your happiness stays a uh, by setting the pace. You're giving her a strong message if she wants to. She has to show the same amount of care and value that you do in order to be in your life. No longer writing the story, she has to do this if she wants a part. Win her spot in your story. Number nine. She finally sees the strength you've always had. Think about that for a second. After going through a storm of feelings, confusion and a lot of something changes. The way she looks at you now is not the same. Rather than doubt or confusion, there is a deep sense with admiration in her eyes. She finally gets who you really are, are not only as a love partner but also as a strong person. You've shown her over and over again that you are independent and sure of what you believe, that the confusion of life and other people's opinions don't easily change you. You didn't give up when things got hard. You dealt with them with grace and calm. You stood strong through every challenge because you knew how valuable you were, watched how you dealt with problems and how you did well despite them, and now her, there is more to respect than love. It's not just about love anymore. I admire the way you deal with things and the strength you've shown, which you stand for, and now picture her watching you and understanding that she thinks of you as someone whose every battle you faced made you stronger. Doesn't grow someone who gives up the respect she has for you now. Beyond the surface, it's no longer just about sexual interest. She, she sees you as a strong person she can look up to and someone who has stayed true to their values. 
You become more than just someone she loves, no matter what. You become someone. I really admire and respect her, but here's the thing. Even though people like you more, that doesn't change how you see yourself. Whether she or anyone else tells you how valuable you are, you've always known it. Respect is what she gives you when you stick to the standards and limits that make you who you are. Sure, being liked is great, but it doesn't make you who you are. Your worth has always come from, you are from the inside, and no amount of praise will ever change that, change the story. Maybe at first she didn't fully understand you, or thought you were just there. That's true, but now she's the one amazed by how much you bring. Because of this, bring your independence, strength, and steadfast dedication to yourself to the table. New respect for you. She sees you in a way she didn't before. Shining because of your unwavering strength, confidence, and sense of self-worth. If you're ready to accept, take this shift and get the respect you've always earned. Drop it. A comment below with the words, this makes me feel confident and tall. You're telling the world in a strong way that you know your worth. After what you've shown her, you won't settle for anything less. There's no doubt that you deserve love, respect and admiration. That matches your true worth and live your life with unwavering confidence. On purpose and with meaning, because you deserve it and always will of nothing less than the best as we come to the end of our look at detachment. We've talked about how valuing yourself and deciding to step back can change your life. When you follow Stoic ideas, you move from seeking to being. Focused on showing that giving less can often mean getting more, true strength comes from within. It means taking charge of your story and making sure your worth is recognized on your own terms. Now I want you to think about it and share your own stories about how these dynamics have played out in your life. If you saw a change when you decided to quit, please share your thoughts and stories in the comments section below. Your contributions make our group stronger and help other people understand how important it is to respect yourself and set personal boundaries. If you liked what we talked about today, please give it a thumbs up sign up and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking talks. Shapes our group study of these life-changing ideas. Before you leave, please take a, take a look at the suggested videos on your screen. They were chosen to help you learn more. Stoic living, knowing it and practicing it will all help you control your emotions and feel safe. Autonomy. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to visit with us. Story of your life, you hold the pen, keep writing with purpose, and please leave a precise message, and keep building your way to happiness until we meet again, and be brave and passionate about your route.